Humans have been making iron and steel for centuries. Steel fueled the industrial revolution and remains the backbone of modern industrializing economies like Uganda. This man has a heart of steel and an even bigger vision to be the largest manufacturer of steel and plastic building products in the African continent. For the moment, Africa is the continent which is coming up so fast. The whole world has got so much interest in Africa and we have to bring Africa up. It's a dream he has had for years and is about to turn that dream into reality. With a capital investment of $180 million and inventions that allowed them to manufacture ever diverse products, Roofing's Rolling Mills was established in three phases. Phase one was the installation of a high-tech wire galvanizing plant unlike any other in sub-Saharan Africa with a capacity to produce 12,000 metric tons of galvanized wire every year. It is from this material that we load onto the wire drawing machine. It has different processes where we have the annealing, we have the quenching, we have pickling, then we have galvanizing. The galvanized wire can be used to make chain link, can be used to make uh, barbed wire, can also be used to make uh, razor wires. Our finished galvanized wire and barbed wire, we normally serve the local market and the rest is exported. Phase two was the commissioning of a hot rolling mill. This is our new mill. It is a 14 stand mill, comprising of one roughing stand and 14 stands, eight intermediate stands and six finishing stands. This is a modern standard automated mill, whereby everything is controlled in a PLC. And then we have the QST technology which we have also brought about, brought in, uh, which is better than the other old one, which was TMT technology. So everything you are seeing here is all automated. This is our final product from the raw materials we have. As you can see, it is well arranged, unique, and is ready to build Uganda. Phase three involved the installation of a cold rolling mill complex. Where we are producing the uh, high quality steel, steel seeds. But the market was still demanding for more. In 2012, Roofing's Polypipes was commissioned specifically designed to produce construction plastic pipes of various dimensions and PYC fittings used in plumbing, drainage management and electric installations. Roofing's group ventured into the manufacturing of polypipes about six, seven years ago, um, whereas we produce UPVC, HDP and PPR pipes of high quality. This is to offer a more comprehensive range of products for our uh, customers. Currently, Roofings is the largest steel manufacturing plant in Uganda and East Africa, exporting to Rwanda, Burundi, DR Congo, Kenya, Tanzania and South Sudan, earning the country the much-needed foreign exchange. So in the process of expanding our business, we actually create more opportunities for our fellow Ugandans to get employed. Initially, the custom, uh, the staff component was about 60 employees, but now we are over 1,800 workers on permanent basis. At Roofings, the customer is family, and there is a deliberate effort to deliver quality at a good price to retain the customer. We are offering affordable prices, but they have to make sure that, that they're go going to get the right quality. Since its inception in 1994, in an unconventional business move, Roofings decided to invest in their reputation and community involvement. At Roofings, we believe in corporate social responsibility for sustainability for the group, 
employees, community, environment and country. In lieu of this, we have started our forever initiative. At the core of Roofing's group values is the continuous improvement in the quality and standards of communities through educating Uganda's young minds. This initiative started in 2012 when we took on a government-aided primary school, which we re rehabilitated and renovated. From there on, we took an active part in the development of the school. Over the years, the school grew from 200 pupils to 1,000, and roofing skaters for sponsorships, medical care, drinking water, workshops, sustainable farming practices and small business projects. As Nelson Mandela wisely said, education is the most powerful weapon which can be used to change the world. It goes without saying that in order for a nation to develop, it needs to be healthy. Roofing's group has pursued the idea of community health through different projects. We realize that health and wellness can only be achievable if the primary need of an individual is fulfilled. For this reason, we work together with other organizations in joining hands in improving our community's standard of living. We should not only play Russian roulette with the atmosphere because we have got one. Forever Forestry. Forever Forestry is an initiative by Roofings Group to regreen Uganda again. And here we do breed trees out of seeds. We give these seedlings away for free to conserve the environment. So we give these seeds to communities, individuals, our clients to help mitigate climate change and global warming. We are honored to be part of uh, working with communities who also want to regreen and care for the environment. Rovings has invested millions in pollution control and preserved the environment. However, a lot still remains to be done. The process of, of melting and forging steel can be very contaminating for the environment. That's why we have put an air pollution control unit where we purify the air and uh, vent it back into the air after it is purified again. So whatever you have seen, all the smoke which is being sucked here in that uh, induction furnace, it is uh, sucked in up to this machine. This is called air pollution control system where it has filters which trap the dust, poisonous, hazardous substances which are in the scrap. So these filters will trap that, those substances and only clean air will go to the environment and those substances will be collected as hazardous material and then we will, it will be disposed of by a registered disposal company in Uganda. Roofing's dominance goes unchallenged for 25 years and continues to strengthen the nation in the next 25 years.